Hi, my name is Anurupa and I am a professional puppeteer, which means that I make puppets and design puppet shows for a living. And I thought, since we're all sitting at home, it could be great fun to build a puppet show. So I thought about it a lot. And then I remembered that one of my favorite kinds of puppetry is where you get to make your own puppet stage, your own puppets, and changing backdrops. And all of this is with paper. So, look around your house. I'm sure you'll find some cardboard boxes and paper and some very simple things. So, I'm going to show you what you need. I'm going to change the angle of my camera. And here we go. What you need is an ordinary cardboard box, not a very big one, a really normal one, so I found one. Something that, uh, maybe you got something delivered at home or uh, in, would work really well. A roll of tape, see this one's quite thick, it doesn't have to be this thick. This is paper tape, okay, but it can be plastic tape one cutter but this is only for the parents to use when they help you cut the box pair of scissors one black marker it can be any color actually but I have a black one here a pencil and a box of paints so these are acrylic paints but you can use crayons you can use color pencils anything you like the first thing we need to do is to seal this edge of the box, which means put some tape here and seal this edge. Okay, This is very important so that the box becomes strong and yeah, the flap doesn't keep opening. So you have to do this to all four sides okay and when all four sides are done it looks like this all four sides because I have a little box prepared here already okay fabulous next thing we do is you'll have an open side of the box and you have the closed side of the box so near the closed side near the closed side you take a scale and you have to draw a line so that you can cut a slit like this. Okay, so open side, close side, make a little slit. Why do we make the slit? Is this is where we can slip in the backdrop like this. So I can show it to you here in the first box all four sides are sealed the back slit is cut and I have made two backdrops in this so with the two backdrops you can pull out one and if I look inside the box then you can pull out another one and you can see the back of the box okay fantastic then we're going to cut slits on the sides of the box two slits are good yeah the space doesn't matter it can be uh, not as far back as the back slit a little bit in front and another one in front on both sides okay like that so when you look inside the box you have the slits on the side Fabulous, your box is ready. Suppose your box is not white, you could cover them in white tape or you could paint directly on this box. You could paint it any color you want your theater to be. The box is ready. We are ready to draw the characters. So I have drawn out two characters. I have got a rabbit and a snake. And once the drawing is done, all I need to do 
is to cut them out. So I've made some cutouts already. Here's my cutout snake. And here's the cutout rabbit. Voila, my characters are ready. Now I need to look at the box just to run a test to measure. Hey, is my rabbit and my snake going to fit in? Yeah, perfect. No problems at all. But what they need now is some sticks so that they don't flip-flop like this. So that's the next part. We're going to put some sticks on them. Cut out a small piece of tape, not very big. Turn your character around. Take a small stick. This could easily be a jhadu tili. I'm using a stick from a kebab skewer. And I put the rabbit in the middle of the stick. See, it's right in the middle. And it's on the back of the rabbit that I will neatly and carefully stick the tip. Now, once the tip is stuck, we have to look at, hmm, let's see. There's a lot of extra tape at the bottom and what you can do is roll the excess tape at the bottom over the stick so it becomes very firm and the extra parts can be cut out with your scissors. Okay? Nice. Otherwise, you could just let the tape be and draw some grass maybe. Now... The puppet can actually enter the stage. And now comes my absolutely favorite part. When I get to paint the box. And I get to paint the backdrop. So I need a little forest backdrop. I get to paint the puppets. I get to paint a second backdrop. I thought you could start from the forest and then go out into outer space. And all my paints are ready. So the first thing I'm going to paint, and make sure when you paint, you have a little palette, which is a place where you can mix your paints, pour your paints, mix it with water. This could be an old paint uh, box. It could be a plate, it could be anything. So the first thing I'm painting is my theater. I'm going to paint the inside and the outside. Then I'll paint the backdrops. And then in the end, I will paint my characters. So have fun painting. So, I'm ready. I've painted the stage. All of it is black inside, on top, on outside. You can choose a different color for the outside, but the inside is always better if it's black. I've got two painted backdrops. One for my first scene, which is a painted forest. Okay. Then I've got my characters ready. My first character. Oops. My first character, the snake. He's looking for the rabbit. Where is he? <laughs> My second character is hiding from him. Uh... Hey guys, have you seen a snake somewhere? Where did he go? Where did he go? Ah, I think I see him. Run, rabbit, run. <laughs> Hmm. Where is he? And so the rabbit and the snake chase each other. They chase each other all over the place. And they chase each other through mountains, through hills, through forests. 
till they reach outer space. And they are still chasing each other in outer space. Wow! Run, rabbit, run! Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha! So you can make your own show. I just made a show on the spot, but it doesn't have to be like that. You should write out a story. You should paint out all the backdrops. So when we write a story, we think of all the landscapes, all the places where the story is taking place. It could be inside the house, outside the house, under the sea, in outer space, uh, on some alien planet. Once it's ready, you make as many cards as you need backdrops. You set the backdrops, you paint the backdrops, you keep them ready like this in the box. Then you keep all your characters ready for their entries on the side of the box like this and the rabbit is ready on this side once you do that you have to prepare your lines decide what happens first what happens second what happens last and once you're ready the show can begin and remember you can have a soundtrack for the show you can also put on some lights some special lights like you can have diwali lights inside the box you can have a torch light inside the box you can do whatever you like okay have fun show the show to your parents your brother your sister your grandparents make a recording and send it to me don't forget okay bye